This short film was commissioned by Drogheda City Status Group to demonstrate evidentially to government the urgent necessity to establish city status for Drogheda. 2016 census figures put the combined Drogheda and Eastmead population at 59,000. 2022 preliminary census results show a strong increase of 12.7%, well above the national rate of 7.6%. When outlying East Mead coastal areas with strong emotional, transport, security and social ties and which are in the process of agglomerating with Drogheda are included, the population of the area is already at 67,000. Drogheda and East Mead is the fastest growing urban centre in Ireland, expanding more rapidly than the cities of Cork, Galway, Limerick and Waterford. However, the population of Drogheda is set to increase substantially over the next few years. Unprecedented residential development in Drogheda and its hinterland means that city status has become an absolute necessity. In the short to medium term, the development taking place in and around Drogheda is on a scale that has not been seen in Ireland in decades. With the recently approved €35 million Euro funding through HISCO for the Port Access Northern Cross Route, that vital new artery is now under construction, opening vast swathes of land for residential development. 7,100 residential units will be built in the vicinity of that 5.7 km ring road in three phases over the next number of years. That will bring a population increase of around 19,000 people. But even as construction of the Port Access Northern Cross Route is underway, Drogheda is seeing a substantial amount of residential development elsewhere, including a number of large apartment and housing projects which are either under construction or nearly completed. This totals another 1,000 units within the Old Borough, bringing a population of around 2,500. To the southeast of the town, large residential developments in recent years at Grangerath, Donacarney, Mornington, Bettystown and Laytown mean that those areas are gradually merging, the eventual result being that Drogheda and those coastal towns and villages will be one large population centre by 2031. The following film, composed of drone footage shot in February 2023, will demonstrate conclusively the pressing need for city status for Drogheda. Here is the first phase of the Port Access Northern Cross Route under construction to the northwest of the town, linking the Rose Hall roundabout on the OR132 Old Dublin Belfast Road with the Twenties and Ballamakenny Road. The sod was officially turned on phase one recently by Taoiseach Leo Varadkar. In the foreground is the new road under construction. In the background, you can see the expanding boundary of Drogheda. Most of the green fields between the road and the town are subject to planning for residential development. A linear open space park is also provided for in plans for the area. There are two planned phases for the development of all the land between the Port Access Northern Cross Route and Drogheda, which will involve the construction of three neighbourhoods. The first and second neighbourhoods in phase one will contain 2,500 residential units each while the third neighbourhood in Phase 2 will see 2,100 units built. This junction at the 20s looking back towards Drogheda shows the Port Access Northern Cross Route under construction in the foreground. The area beyond that will see the development of the first neighbourhood. As the drone pans towards the roundabout on the far left at the junction of the PANCR and Ballamakenny Road, we are looking at the area scheduled for the development of Neighbourhood 2. Some of the roads servicing new housing developments are already in place. Work on the new roundabout where the Port Access Northern Cross Route will meet the Ballamakenny Road is moving at a fast pace. In the vicinity of this junction, new housing developments are underway. New residential developments meet the highest modern standards and all new housing schemes will be connected via a network of roads. The Port Access Northern Cross Route will pass under the main Dublin Belfast railway line. 
The final phase of the Port Access Northern Cross route will link the Termon Fecken and Newtown Road junction, shown here, with Drogheda Port at Tom Rose Point, crossing through these fields on its way to the port facility, which can be seen in the background. Residential development in this area is already underway, with this new scheme progressing rapidly. Drogheda has seen enormous development on its southeastern fringe along the OR132 Old Dublin Belfast Road. The Southgate Centre and Grange Rath housing developments have transformed what were once green fields into a large urban area. A new roundabout and roads have been put in place at Cope between Grange Rath and Donna Kearney for a large planned residential development. This is also where the new Drogheda Laytown Educate Together Secondary School is being built. This area, along with Donna Kearney, saw the highest population increase in the state in the 2022 census, a startling 38% increase. The village of Donna Kearney, right beside Grange Rath and Southgate, has grown substantially over the past two decades. What was once a small rural village has seen a number of residential schemes built and development continues. There are only one or two green fields left between Donna Kearney and Drogheda. This is the key area where the agglomeration or merging of Drogheda and East Meath is taking place, rapidly forming a new conurbation. Near Donna Kearney, the coastal villages of Bettystown in the foreground and Laytown in the background are in County Meath, but the proximity of Drogheda and the distance of their own county town of Navan means that the former is the one that they see as their local town. The pace of development of Betty's Town in recent years has been remarkable. In the background here are the villages of Donna Kearney and Mornington, with which Betty's Town is quickly merging. On the north side of Drogheda, away from the development of the Port Access Northern Cross Route, a number of large residential schemes are either under construction or almost complete. This substantial mixed residential scheme incorporating a number of large apartment blocks is currently being built on the old Slane Road near the M1 motorway. This mixed scheme on the old Bridgeford site on the new Foundwell Road is almost complete. This development, under construction by the River Boyne beside the Bridge of Peace, will rise to 11 storeys and consist of 50 apartments. This almost complete scheme at Donore Road, close to the centre of Drogheda, consists of three separate blocks of apartments rising to five storeys. Drogheda East Meath is bucking the national trend and expanding at an unprecedented rate. The existing population of 67,000 looks set to increase massively before the next census. Population growth is motivated by numerous factors, and Drogheda East Meath ticks many of those boxes. Housing, schools, public transport, a major hospital, proximity to Dublin and the airport, and beautiful countryside and coastline. It's quite simply a great place to live. It also has world-renowned heritage sites close by, a medieval centre, a vibrant art scene, increasing third level and further education options, emerging wind industry, and a busy port. Population growth brings seismic changes and challenges for any urban area. A population this size needs its own administration and management, free from the constraints of county borders. A city needs recognition, resources, structure and planning. Its citizens need the control, the vision, the opportunities that city status brings to grow into a livable, sustainable, vibrant city. This is Drogheda, Ireland's next city.